<laughs> you had to be so tall for this video. I feel like you grew on purpose. Yeah. You're gonna warn me when you're gonna yell. I'm gonna, I'm gonna yell. Okay. All right. <laughs> I'm gonna pee my pants. <laughs> Drew and today's so another half for you. I am here starting off my YouTube channel 2019 with Justin. Oh, you hit my hand that time. There seems to be better space boundaries. Okay, so we're in a different film location. It's not a smart choice, but we're committed to it now. But okay, we're, stuck. we're literally, literally stuck, stuck here. Um, we're not going to dwell on that part. So we're here today um, because. Justin and I were talking about how we wanted to start off um, together on YouTube and I felt like it'd be really awesome, he also felt the same thing, that we should talk about the new year, new you, kind of like new year's resolution, healthier lifestyle, how to start that, how to be successful with it, what to do. So, do you want to start it off today? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wow. You know what, I do a lot of the talking, so I'm going to let you. It's true. Alright, so <clears throat> one of the thoughts that I, now I'm yelling. One of the thoughts that I've had going into my own New Year's resolution is just how to start things that will be sustainable. Okay. Like what I do agree. you like? What do you do uh, that you're going to be able to continue throughout the year? What yes. are you going to enjoy doing? Yeah. And then what are those like small incremental changes as opposed to like I'm going to go hit the gym six days a week right. when I've never gone to a gym in my life. Yes. So for me personally, um, where I'm going to jump in on that is. The, the way that I actually felt like I became successful with my weight loss journey was starting with those small incremental changes. Um, I started with that for probably like three to six months before I was like, okay, now I'm focused in this journey. I'm going to like punch this weight loss journey in the face. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> you know what? Sometimes yeah. you got to be like, ah, about it, yeah. you know? And I, I wasn't like that, like super like hyper-focused, like tenacious, like mm -hmm. we're going to do this. We're going to eat, sleep and breathe like weight loss. I started slow and made little changes that yeah. became sustainable. So um, I think something that a lot of people, when they start these like new year, new me, they're like, all right, I got to hit it hard. And mm -hmm. I, and I think personally, that is the number one way that you're going to set yourself up for failure. Yeah. So what is something that you think starting today, someone was like, I wanted to do like a weight loss journey. I want to start right now. How, what is one thing that they can do that you think is a small incremental change that could actually help them be sustainable? I think part of it, and you even have a, like a piece of paper here with mm -hmm. a pen is just maybe even write down some of those goals yeah. and to, you know, make like a, a T chart, a yeah. Y chart, some kind of chart in there. You know, like what are some of those changes that you're thinking of right now that you might want to do? Yeah. You know, like I'm going to, I'm going to go to the gym. So write that down. Right. And then after you've made that list to go and like reflect on it and see, okay, what am I actually going to do? Right. What well, am I going to be able to keep doing? So that's actually a really good point you brought up. So for me, another thing that I feel like if you actually want to be successful for starting a weight loss or a healthy life journey, or honestly, any kind of resolution, personal awareness and personal mm -hmm honesty. So one of the things that Justin and I have both realized on these journeys is like we realized our actual struggles when it came to food, yeah. um, being healthy, exercise, all that. I feel like honestly, one of the reasons I was actually successful was because I became real with myself. So for a long time, I would be like, well, I struggle with food, but it's not really the food that's the issue. Yeah. It's I don't have time to go to the gym or yeah. I'm too busy or or this happened or that happened. And, and, and the reality was for me, a big part of it was actually the food. Yeah. And once I got serious and like realized that, you know, that was a struggle area for me and I, I was able to better attack that head on as opposed to um, just kind of pretending that I wasn't actually having issues that I was. Yeah. So I don't know, what, what were some things that you feel like you, when you started your journey, that you realized were struggles that you were never really honest about mm -hmm. in the past? I realized I hate working out. Oh my goodness, <laughs> Re that's real, that's real, yeah. <laughs> yeah, because I, I think like most of the time, when you see it in like, you know, TV shows, yeah. movies, advertisements, I mean, it's everywhere right now, especially yeah. with the new year, yeah. is you know, all of the fitness, you need to get new fitness clothes, you gotta get these exercise bands, yeah. this kettleball, yep. here's a gym membership. Yep. And so you think, like, if I'm gonna lose weight, that's what I need to do. Yeah. Then that's where I was, and that's yeah. why I failed so often with yeah. any kind of, like, initials going into my own weight loss journey. Right. Is 
I wasn't honest and thinking, okay, I, I hate working out. <laughs> right. Right. So then I guess the question is, how do you combat that? So for, for me, um, I, I didn't mind working out. So I mean, it was obviously hard starting yeah. at over 400 pounds, like yeah. working out for me, it was more like a lot of people tell me this, they're afraid to go to the gym. They also are like, what can I actually do at the gym when I'm yeah. that heavy? So for me, the way that I personally found comfort is I went to the pool. I did mm -hmm. a lot of like my beginning like exercises for months. I would just go to the pool, go in the wave pool, swim a little bit. I wasn't even like put like I didn't feel like I was even pushing myself. Yeah. I enjoyed being in the water. It was honestly nice to feel light, yeah. you know, as opposed yeah. to feeling like I weighed 400 pounds all the time. So I did that for a really long time yeah. until I actually started seeing significant weight loss and change. And then I felt more comfortable to change and transition mm -hmm. to an actual serious. And I, I think swimming is a serious workout, but I mean like a workout where I was like, okay, I'm actually focused on yeah. now like the seriousness of exercise partnered yeah. with a, a, a sustainable like eating lifestyle yeah so yeah well and, and for me I mean I added I didn't really do gym because yeah. I don't like gyms right but I started getting some gym equipment for my house okay because I knew like okay. okay for me I'm going to be much more accountable if it's just in my house in my basement right. in my bedroom wherever it is so I got a, a recumbent exercise bike because those are a little bit easier on your back yeah and it had a higher weight limit so I think that one was like 350 pounds, okay. whereas a lot of the exercise bikes are like 250. Well, and I think that's important too. So like a lot of people, and this is one of the most common things, they make excuses. Yeah. So the, so a lot of times you're like, well, I, I hate going to the gym, so mm -hmm. I guess I'm, no. You can find a way to exercise. So like if yeah. you don't have access to a gym, or you don't have near a gym near to you, you can actually still be successful. So when I'm like traveling, um, mm -hmm. I still like try to maintain like I work out four days yeah. a week. If I don't have access to a gym or I can't get to a gym, I don't say, well, I guess I don't yeah. exercise. I will put on an Amazon Prime exercise video, which yeah, yeah. those aren't great. And I, I wouldn't necessarily say that to sustain my <laughs> weight loss journey, but yeah. okay, it's I'm out of town, I'm yeah. traveling. So I'm still going to do something because so for me, one of the most important things I will tell you, um, your journey has to be non-negotiable. Yeah. So like for me, I, I, I push myself to exercise four times a week, unless there's something that like I cannot. So when I had surgery and I physically was incapable of getting to the gym, yeah. and even then, if you follow me closely, like on Instagram and stuff like that, and when I was video documenting that, I talked about how like when I was able, I would still go to the gym. Not because <laughs> I was like, oh, I'm gonna hammer it hard. I just had skin removal surgery. Yeah. It was actually like, telling myself, you have a problem with being obese and you know morbidly obese. Mm -hmm. So if you do not stick with your goals, you're going to convince yourself to mm -hmm. go backwards. So I would go to the gym and I, I would literally just like walk a couple of laps around the track. That's yeah. all I could do. It wasn't like I was like, and I was like, all right, I've gotten to the gym, I've done something that is physical activity and now I'm going home. Because yeah. the whole point of that was not that I was trying to lose weight after having surgery. It was actually me reminding myself that like we have committed mm. that this is the way we live our life now. Yep. So what are some non-negotiables for you that you feel like you have since going through this transformation? Um, a big one for me is food. I mean, I realized recently, I guess, you know, <laughs> as upon reflecting throughout my weight loss journey and my whole uh, you know, adulthood <clears throat> was just that food addiction that I had, Yeah. you know, really pushing it off and, you know, never really thinking about that before right. or thinking like, okay, I really, I do have a food addiction. Yeah. So part of that non-negotiable is like, there's just no snack food in the house. Yeah. Same. Cause if it's in the house, I'm going to eat it and yeah. I'm going to eat all of it. <laughs> and, and that honestly, so I think people, when they hear people say something like yeah. that, that they're desensitized to that response. Yeah. But I don't think people actually realize how huge that is for someone to admit and yeah. say that. Um, so something I was actually talking to, um, you know, a friend the other night and I was telling them like, if you ever are out eating with me and I jokingly say, Hey, you just put, pick this up, take it away. Like, yeah. you know, like we're, let's say we're eating something and let's say there's like chips and salsa and I'm eating a couple of chips and salsa. And all of a sudden I say, yeah, you got to take this away. Yeah. And I was like, so when I say that, I actually really need you to <laughs> take it away. That's yeah. not me trying to be funny. Like, oh man, get this out of here. It's so good. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. that's me like realizing that I have a food addiction. Yeah. And while maybe this one night I, I am going to pig out, yeah. but I think the reality is, when you have food addiction, you can't ever have a pig out. You can't ever allow that no. in your life. Um, and so for me, it's like, it, it's, it's being, you know, some people would say it's being hard on yourself, mm. but I think people also don't realize like we both have weighed 
at like the 400 pound mark. Yep. So yes, now we have figured out how to maintain a healthy life, but if we don't stay vigilant with ourselves, mm -hmm. even now that we are like two, three years into our journey, yep. we still can actually struggle. I think that's the part people don't realize is like, they oh, think yeah. like now that we're here, we're not, there, oh, yeah. there's no possibility of, oh, yeah, you're, you're never going back. You're good. No, the reality is absolutely. Yeah he and I could go back and, and we have to force right. ourselves, we have to be hard on ourselves to stay vigilant. Mm -hmm. Well, it's that one night where you do have the pig out, yeah, the, the next big day. cheat meal, yep. but then it's the next day when you feel bad yep. about yourself, yep. either emotionally or physically, yep. and then you're like, eh, whatever, I'll just <laughs> buy a bag of chips and drink soda again. Yep. I mean, it's really, really easy to snowball yep. back into some of those old habits again. Absolutely. So yeah, you do have to, that's my non-negotiable of, there's just none of those snack foods in the house, right. and if there are, I always look at that serving size and see like, yeah. can I like reasonably just eat all of this and not hate myself? Right. You know, if you get the big family bag of chips, right. I will eat that family yeah, bag of chips. Yeah, no, for real. Yeah. Whereas like you get the little tiny thing of Pringles and it's like, yeah. okay, that's my treat. I can eat all of it. Yes. I'm done with it. It's out of the house. And you bought just one. Yes. Not the whole Exactly. Shelf, like. Right. You're like, oh, well, I got, they're on <laughs> sale, so I need them all. No. And the other thing I feel like, um, so something, another, uh, uh, I'm getting my words mixed up, but another thing I think is actually important if you're looking to actually start a healthy lifestyle. Um, so we're both on Instagram. Most of you probably have already seen us out there or together. Um, something that I feel like has actually significantly helped us big time is by having that continual support network mm -hmm. on Instagram yep. and, and being accountable to people. And I also think one of the things that has actually helped a lot is that we have each other yep. as kind of a source of understanding and like a little bit of accountability. For us, I don't feel like it's so much like we struggle with like, being accountable as much yeah. as like we have someone who understands where we're at in our journey now that we're on this side of it somebody who understands you know by dysmorphia or like wanting to like screw up but not yeah so I, I think that's actually important too so i don't know how you feel about that but i think that's like a huge thing that will also help when you're starting like a new resolution is like mm -hmm. having someone that's in your corner yeah. that understands yeah and it's not necessarily like they are your coach and you have no. to check in every yeah, single no. day it's mm -hmm. just Having somebody out there who knows, okay, I am going on this journey, yeah. I am doing this thing. Right. You can hold me accountable a little bit or like exactly. just asking those questions like, hey, how are you doing? Right. Um, you know, are you keeping up with your goals? Right. You don't have to like ask, what did you have for dinner last night? Well, yeah. And I think also it's like having someone that like understands that you feel like you yeah. can actually talk about that. Because the thing is when you struggle with food addiction, like there's certain things that like I feel uncomfortable talking to other people yeah. about because I'm like, you don't you don't get that side of things, you know? And, yeah. and it's like, for me, it's something that, you know, I feel bad about at times and it's like, yeah. it's okay because we're on this side of it. But at the same time, there's, st I still, I still feel bad that I actually have to sometimes say, Hey, can you take this away from the table? Because it's in me, you yeah. know what I mean? That I do have yeah. like the response of wanting to stress eat at times or like yeah. I go to parties and I have to, I'm like, but I have to avoid certain foods oh, yeah. because it's I just like, don't go I don't go near the snack table. No, I know. Just forget it. Like, and, and it's like, so, yeah. you know, it's, it's nice having someone that you can have that with. So this is going to bring me to something that I feel like people are going to maybe think is controversial. Uh -oh. Not, oh, not bad. Let me, let me, let adjust. me just get a sip of coffee. Me, I don't even know where this is going. Just get a sip of coffee. Just look at these are, our, these are our notes. <laughs> it just <laughs> looks good. It's not even on the camera. Take a sip of coffee. <laughs> okay. So this is something that I'm going to say that I feel like a lot of people are not, it's going to be like, I don't know, not going to like this. If you're doing a weight loss journey, the responsibility of that journey is 100% on your shoulders. Flip the table. <laughs> no. Okay. So here's why I say that. I agree with you. So, okay. Okay. Great. So here's why I say that. So years ago, I mean, I've tried to lose weight like, like what, how many thousands of times yeah. in my life? I was heavy since I was like 10. I was bigger than everybody yeah. else to some degree, not obviously at 400 pounds, but you know, whatever. Yeah. So something that I, I realized when I started this journey comparatively to other ones, every other time I was on a healthy fitness journey. I rely, I'd be like, Hey, let's do this together. Yeah. And then the person I'm doing it with is like, oh, I want to go to the gym today. And I was like, fine. I don't want to go to the gym either. Yeah. I, I never was strong enough to be like, you know what? No, I'm still going to the gym yeah. today, whether you go or not. So and a lot of times people, you know, I'll get messages like you need to help me lose weight. I'm going to tell you how you're going to get help. 
you help yourself, you pick yourself up, you pull yourself out of that because that's the only way it's going to be sustainable. You can't rely on me and Justin to, to be there to check in on you because you know what you're doing? You're giving us the responsibility for your weight loss journey. Yeah, well, and because, an excuse. Right, because, oh, well, well Drew, didn't, Drew didn't message me and check in on me today to see if I was still focusing on my goals. So yeah. I ate, you know, an entire cake, pizza, pie, two liters of soda, and it's her fault that I quit, yeah. and then she's the reason I quit. No, you chose to eat. A whole cake, pizza, two liter, you know, right. and, and pie, and a partridge in a pear tree, which is gross, don't eat that. But like, the point is, you did all that. Yeah. And, and I'm not even trying to be mean. I'm talking about personal honesty. This is something I would personally do. I yeah. would put the responsibility of my journey on someone else's shoulders. I'd be like, well, you quit. You didn't go with me. Mm -hmm. You stopped going to the gym. You didn't eat healthy that night. So then I'm not eating healthy. And, and that was honestly one of the most like negatively toxic, like, behaviors I had when it came to yeah. losing weight because I, I was and the other the worst part about that is you're then putting your success in someone else's hands yeah. people are going to fail you the only person you can actually count on in in, in these journeys is yourself yeah. you know so did you ever do that like where you try to like be like hey I'm gonna partner with somebody or whatever and then it blows up like yeah. every time yeah you partner with somebody <laughs> or you join some kind of like you know I'm gonna uh, like a weight loss bet or something mm -hmm. like that and yeah, either they stop doing it or you lose yeah. or, yeah. Uh, you know, your TV breaks and you're like, well, I can't do the, the fitness routine today. Right. And, <laughs> and, and so the thing is, the reality is this, if you want to be successful, take responsibility for your journey. Because the good thing is, too, when you take that responsibility and you fight for it, then it is yours. You've earned that. And, 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 and that's the way that I feel like you can actually sustain healthy living. Because like I said, you know, let's say you do it with like your best friend, you and your best friend are falling mm -hmm. out or your best friend moves away. So then how are you going to stay healthy? If your best friend was the only reason. And I'm not saying not to have people that encourage you that you part with you like, Hey, I'm going to the gym. You want to go to the gym with me? You know, I'm not saying you can't do any of that, but if your whole journey is focused on doing it with this person, a lot of times those are not successful. Yes, there are success stories. I know there's, you know, certain like times you see husband and wife couples and this and that, but majority of the time they're actually not, yeah. you know? And the thing about that is when you go backwards, every time I did that, I gained more weight yeah. <laughs> than when I started, you know, like I gained back the 20 pounds I lost and then 50 yeah. more. And then I'm like, okay, so, um, that was a bad idea, yeah. you know? Yeah. <laughs> so I don't know. Well, any other thoughts you have on just like how to start a successful, like new <clears throat> years, like new year, new me. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's, it's all about habits. Yeah. You know, I became overweight. I gained the weight because of habits that I had, Yeah. you know, just negative eating habits. Yeah. I was very sedentary. You know, I'd binge watch 10, 15 hours of TV at a time and Same. eat yeah. a couple of pizzas. Yep. So that New Year's resolution, I mean, it's it's going to take a long time because it's not just I have to lose weight, it's I have to develop new habits. Yes. And that's really what's going to help you to sustain it. Yep. And going back to what you're saying about, you know, depending on other people, I mean, it's yeah. great to have that support network. Yeah, I absolutely. mean, it helps and it helps to encourage you and makes you feel good about yourself and stay positive. Yeah. But it's about developing those new habits, yes. you know, shopping habits. Yeah. If you're going to go grocery shopping, you have to completely rethink yes. how you're doing that yeah. shopping. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you know, and like movement. I mean, you have to rethink what am I going to do today in terms of activity? Am I going to yeah. work out? Am I going to walk? Yeah. Am I going to binge watch TV again? Yeah. You know, it's all just the habits and that's really where the resolution I think comes in. Yeah. My, so I think, you know, and then my, my last thought on, on that and on this in general is when you're starting a new year's resolution, be realistic. One of the biggest problems that people always have when they go to lose weight is they're not realistic. They think, well, I want to lose, you know, all this weight really quickly and it takes time. Like I, and so I understand that like I lost a lot of weight very quickly. I did. That was because like I, I hyper focused during that like one year of time. But before that, you know, in the three to six months where I was taking it really slow and making gradual changes, I lost like 29 pounds, right? In that time frame. But in the time, you know, the, the six months prior to having my surgery and before anything, I, I lost 90 pounds. I did. So it's not that it's not possible, but I think what you have to realize on the front end of the journey, when you're working on just the habits and changes, slow down. Mm -hmm. Focus on that. Make sure you can master those things. And then once you have mastered them, if you're ready to, like I said, punch that journey in the face, yeah. 
then you can actually see significant like that weight is coming off. But the reality is this, when you start out and you're like, all right, I'm gonna cut it down to 1100 calories, I'm gonna go to the gym six days a week and all that, that gets exhausting. Yeah. That is really, really well, you're just hard. Unhappy. Yeah, and you're unhappy. Yeah, because you know why? Because you didn't, you didn't gradually change your diet. You didn't gradually take things out. Like, so for me, it was like, all right, I'm working on this. And I, and I, you know, was like, all right, I'm going to stop drinking actual soda and I'm going to drink some carbonated beverages. And then yeah. eventually I got to a place where I stopped drinking, you know, carbonated beverages in general, yeah. but I, I couldn't just cut them all out at once. I had to slow down and, and work my way into that. You know, when I made changes, like, you know, eating, taking longer to eat meals, I worked on that for a while because I was like, I have to slow down. I can't sit down and just my food yeah. because if you do, <laughs> if you do that, yeah. that's, 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 yeah, that's making yourself, you know, you're not full, you eat more, you overeat, you eat quickly, it's not healthy. So it's like making those little changes up front, then once you feel like you actually can sustain it and do it, then you can come in, you can hit it hard, you can crush it. So the reality is this, if you're focused on losing weight, it's going to take time. You know, I am coming in at about, you know, officially since I started like working really hard um, and like really focused, hyper focused on my journey, that was at the end of March. So I'm coming upon like my three year anniversary of like significantly serious about losing weight. Yeah. And, and I and I am just closing in now on like my actual like goal weight and all that. But it has taken me about three years to get to this point. Mm -hmm. And I don't say that to be discouraging like, oh, it's gonna be three years. I mean, I lost 179 pounds in one year's time. Yeah. That, that's huge. That is significant, right? But my point is it is going to take time to get here. So make sure that you're living a life that is enjoyable and that is sustainable mm -hmm. for the rest of your life because we yeah. want you to not only succeed, we want you to maintain that success forever. Mm -hmm. So I don't know, what's your final yeah. thoughts on Well, this? and that, that gets into now, like especially with the New Year's and resolutions, yeah. like a lot of companies are aware of that. Yeah. And they're going to try to sell you a lot of yeah. lose weight fast, yeah. guaranteed weight loss. But, you know, thinking about the habits and yeah. thinking about just the overall time it's going to take, yeah. um, you have to just kind of be aware and like really thoughtful yeah. of, are those things really going to help me? Are they going right. to help me develop new habits? Right. Are they going to help me enjoy life and then maintain whatever weight that I do lose? Yeah. So I think this was good. I'm glad that we did this. I was like, I don't know, it was weird. Like I was like, I don't And know. it was so well scripted. You know what? Put it down. <laughs> Put it down. Put it down. <laughs> we were serious for like 20 minutes. I know. I know. That was the most serious that we've ever But played. I feel like that was actually good. Yeah, so that's good. I was looking at I was like, you know, I want to start this year off and I want to start off with it's something that's always been on my like my yeah. heart, not to be dramatic, but it's been on my heart. Like, how do we talk to people? You know, people always ask us, you know, how lose weight. And I'm like, I a lot of people do the New Year's resolution, like I'm starting a weight loss journey. Mm -hmm. And I think that that's great. I don't actually there's anything wrong with that. I just think a lot of people set themselves up for failure with unrealistic expectations. Yeah. So I want to do something that you guys felt like you could actually get some information from how to actually be successful because that's what we want. We want everybody to have this. We want them to have that healthy life, that freedom, that break mm -hmm. of, you know, obesity, like uh, excess weight is like kind of like a bondage, you know, mm -hmm. and it just like, you feel trapped. We want you to like be out of that. So, yeah. all right, well, thanks for coming today <laughs> and being somewhat serious for yeah. a good yeah. amount of time. Serious for a while. Yeah, okay. So that's all I have for you guys today. But if you want to see more photos of me, you can check me out on Instagram, Snapchat, and on Twitter at Just Like Drew. So the same way it is down below. If you want to check out Justin, check him out at Getting Healthy underscore on underscore good food. And that's on Instagram. And I will put all the info for Justin down below this video. Um, if you, uh, what the is, cat what's the next the part? I, I forget the next part. I always do this because I, I, I tell people how to find you and then I it's the lose myself. Literally. If you want to be a part of the Just Like Drew crew and you're not already, you can click the red subscribe button down below this video and join our forever family because we are literally the best crew around because anybody and everybody can be our crew. I love you guys so stinking much and if you like this video and you want to see more from me, you know what to do Just Like Drew. Have an amazing day, have an amazing week, have an amazing life and I will see you very soon for a new video. Another one actually with Justin. 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 All right, talk to you. Love you. Goodbye. You have to actually like press the button because I can't push push it. Honestly, yeah, you're not. Honest. But <laughs> I thought you were gonna say honestly, you are. No, no. I was like honestly, no. you are not. Um. Well, it doesn't make a noise. Well, why would it make a noise? Because it makes a noise when you do the camera. Only like because it's a. Time. <laughs> okay, you ready? Well. Are you like? We can't really get up and stretch like when you're gonna knock all the coffee over. Oh my gosh. You're knocking my coffee over!
Uh, you have to be I'm so not, tall. I'm not five. Feet tall. <laughs> you had to be so tall for this video. I feel like you grew on purpose. Yeah. Well, I mean, we're sitting on a kid's. You could have called it at five eleven. Just gonna say it. No, we're gonna get all the way to six feet. That's a, uh, gives me more space for the beer. You're an overachiever. Let's yeah. just call that out. Okay. So you ready? That's enough banter. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> that was a that was a tough noise. <laughs> oh my gosh, we were so, look at we dressed professional for nothing. Well, see, the okay. other time we did it, it was the last video. Yeah. So we were like, we were tired. we got better. Yeah, we were like, yeah. we're not gonna be this cool. One, we don't know. We're actually and we have coffee, time. Nespresso. Yeah. Oh geez. Nespresso. Okay. Nespresso. Are you ready? Yeah. All right. <coughs> my hair's in my eye. Although I'm, I'm like straight on the camera. Okay. That's, so maybe just you can't. No. You can't do that. Shouldn't do that. Yeah. All never. Right. Never straight on. Gotta turn a little. Yeah. All right. I'll turn the other way. Don't turn. That's awkward. Then. <laughs> just like. <laughs> I guess I should probably face you a little bit. I'm gonna I'm facing. <laughs> Twenty minutes of banter. <laughs> There's gonna be some value in this video. I feel. Uh, okay. All right. All right. Ready? All right. Yeah. All right. Well, you can't have your cup when I start the video. Oh, oh my gosh. I don't know all these rules. <laughs> <laughs> You've done this like 18 times. No. Okay. Okay. All right. <sighs> Hi, guys. Welcome back. It's <laughs> startling. <laughs> Okay. All right. You're gonna warn me when you're gonna yell. I'm gonna, I'm gonna yell. Okay. All right. 